Hi Libra, welcome to your June 2020 Love and General Reading. I am Gemstone Tarot. You are my lovely Librans. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. If you're here, you are absolutely welcome. I knew it had to be you today. I always, I don't know, I kind of wake up and I'm like, today is Libra. Yesterday it was Scorpio. It was like, today is Scorpio. Today is Libra. Okay, what do we need to know for my lovely Librans? There will be an extended reading. The link will be in the description box. I have an itchy nose. I've got ooh, hay fever, which is fun. Oof, straight out. Okay. Ooh. Libra, Libra, Libra. What does Libra need to know? Messages, please. Oh, okay. Wow. Some of this reading, I mean, this is for June, and we have two eclipses in June. We've got one on the 5th and one on the 21st. We had an eclipse in January on the 10th in Cancer, and I feel like some of this goes back to then for you. Gosh some good cards yeah I feel like it goes back to the eclipse we had in cancer on the 10th so have a think back to wow what was going on in your life wow there's a lot of love going on in June I've pulled some love cards for every sign actually and you are no exception okay good oof Oof, indeed, right. Gosh, wish this, I can't speak today. Wish this was my reading, but it isn't. Okay, your overall energy card is the Seven of Cups. So there is a need, and this has come up a lot in June for a lot of signs. The eclipses that we're having will help you, Libra, in working out um, what is fantasy and what is true. It's been very difficult because of lockdown and all that kind of stuff. I think everybody's thrown into a slightly surreal world. And, you know, love and relationships in that surreal world and even about your own place in the world and who you are and what you're doing and why you're here and who you interact with. It's coming into focus in a way that it probably wouldn't have done if this hadn't happened, OK? For you, we've got a lot of cup cards, there's a lot of love cards, so there's a lot, I'm just going to put some hand cream on because my hands are so sore. There's a lot of love stuff going on, so there's a lot of relationship stuff, kind of, I want to say blowing up, but it's not blowing up, it's not that harsh. It's emerging, it's coming up for you. Um, it's nice, it's just you mustn't get lost in something okay the seven of cups is a fantasy future card you can see it here this is psyche the goddess of love praying to aphrodite who's pointing to all these cups that are kind of in the sky and it's a bit airy fairy a bit pie in the sky it's a bit oh you know there's these cups and oh the potential and you've got to be really careful if you pull one of these cups down it might just poof and evaporate Okay, your other energy card overall is the Nine of Cups. Now we're talking, okay? Nine of Cups, Aphrodite is back. Look where the cups are. On the ground. And the happy couple toasting a union. Aphrodite, well up for it, okay? This is where you want to be. That is where I think you end up, but... We have an eclipse in Sag on the 5th. We have an eclipse in Cancer. That's the biggie for you. That's on the 21st. It's a solar eclipse. Yep, it's big style for you because in the middle of your reading, I've got the chariot, which is the cut. can't speak today, the card for Cancerians. It's also the card of this way or that. One horse going in one direction, another horse going in another direction. Your only job to keep the chariot on the road, to keep things going in the right direction. And the right direction is the nine of cups, but the temptation for you will be the seven. 
you might be dealing with a Cancerian. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. I've got fire signs and I've got water signs in particular. There's one or two of you that are on an air sign, but fire signs and water signs are particularly what I've got for you. And it looks like, almost looks like there might be some, just for one or two of you, a choice. So I've got two kings in my reading. King of Wands and the King of Cups, and they are very different. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the King of Cups. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the King of Wands. King of Wands is a bit of a, ha ha, how are you doing? You know, one of those. So I always think that the King of Wands is quite, I always think of him as a salsa dancer or someone who's very, hey, take my hand, come on. You know, it's that kind of energy. The King of Cups is someone who is very quietly watching you while composing a sonnet in his head and it's all very emotional and, you know, water sign stuff. I'm a water sign, all that faff that we do. Okay. This for a few of you is a straight choice between two different kind of people, which is interesting. One that seems much more outgoing and fiery and one that seems much more introspective and emotional. But for others of you, what I'm really getting is that this is the same person, but they have different faces, okay? One or two of you might be involved with someone who is not the same when they've had a drink. You know, some people are good drunk and some people are bad drunk. Others of you, this person may go between being kind of fun and exciting and being emotional and in touch and very connected with you. I think it's your job or it will become your job in June to establish if this is a true connection, because there's definitely the opportunity for it. Lovely, beautiful Two of Cups. Eros rescues Psyche from the rock and the story begins. And we can see that you've, you've got more of the story than just that, haven't you? Here we have that Seven of Cups. We have that fantasy. There is something a bit unreal about this connection. That's the only thing I'm wondering about. Now, I don't have nasty cards that suggest some kind of sneakiness or foul play or weirdness or whatever it is. I don't have that. But I feel like you have some kind of, and it could just be that you've been on lockdown with this person, you haven't been able to see them or they're at a distance or something. But we have that nine of swords, which is you worrying about something. You know, this is replaying stuff in your head. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. You know, is this happening? Is that happening? And that's that chariot energy. The connection is not to be questioned because we've got the two of cups. It's Venus in Cancer. Again, more Cancerian energy coming into your reading. This could literally be not just that some of you are dealing with a Cancerian, because not all of you are by a long shot, but we go back to that Cancerian eclipse on the 10th of January, 2020. Now, we also had an eclipse in Cancer in July, 2018. It may even go back to that for some of you, like two years, okay? But we have this eclipse in Cancer coming up. Expect something to kind of emerge at that point. Like I say, it's not going to blow up. It's not going to kind of break out. But it may emerge. And next to the chariot, I've got temperance. And think of it emerging like that rainbow is emerging out of the cups. It's a soft energy, particularly for those of you dealing with a water sign, it's a beautiful energy. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who has found it difficult to articulate their emotions and this has caused you anxiety, okay? I think what might happen by the time of the eclipse or certainly events around the time of the eclipse start this ball rolling because Mercury's retrograde, Venus is retrograde. I don't know how long Venus is retrograde for. I should have looked. Have a look on the astrology. Um, it's a bit retrograde-y. And when this happens, you get this two steps forward, three steps back energy going on. And I feel there's some of that. I also feel the energy of somebody with a lot of words in their mouth that they want to communicate with you. And maybe they have to have a couple of drinks to do it and then they call you, <laughs> that'll be fun. 
I just want to tell you, I love you. I love you. <laughs> You'd be like, what? I love you. <laughs> if they're not normally a drinker, okay, go easy on them because they're just nervous. <laughs> I want to know in the comments section if that happens to you. <laughs> okay. Temperance versus the chariot. Of course, you could be dealing with the Sag. The chariot is this torn in two different directions energy and temperance is managing to find a kind of middle ground where you can get into an easy enough, because the love is here for you Libra, okay? And if you are single, then it looks like there's two people, okay? <laughs> What's not to like? The love is coming, all you need to do is kind of relax. This is a bit new for you, okay? Now, one thing I will say about this, don't dive in there and put words in their mouth. The words are already in their mouth. They're just having trouble getting them out. They're going to have to stew and sweat on that for a bit. OK, the eclipses bring things to the fore. We've got the one on the fifth and something about that shifts something, which then gets picked up on the 21st with that retrograde energy. I have a feeling for some of you, this person will their words will be very jumbled and retrograde -y. They may be drunk, they may be nervous, they may speak to you on a phone where the connection is bad, you may do a Zoom and it's like, ah, 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 oh, 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 you know, that whole wave, have you frozen? Um, I'm not sure they'll write you a letter or an email. Who writes letters? I mean, I do, but if it's an email, be careful because Mercury's retrograde. It could go to the wrong person or it's miscommunicated. There's just something about this that's quite sweet. You know, I feel very endearing towards this person, if that's even a word to use, um, because they want to try and they sort of want to get you, but their execution is quite poor. But anyway, we've got the fool as well, a new beginning, a new start. And the fool, you know, he's about to go off the edge of a cliff, but he's lovely and he's lucky and he's willing and he's ready. And this person might be younger than you or have a very youthful kind of attitude. It's like, it reminds me of a teenage crush when somebody sort of approaches you in the corridor and they're flushed and they're, you know, and the, their eyes twitching or something's giving them away. That's the energy that I get. And this could even be with someone who's never been like that with you before. Ace of Swords, lovely energy for you, air signs, okay? Whatever happens, you are going to get a lot clearer about this situation. Interesting energy. Now then, we also have the Six of Swords and something about this represents escape to you. I don't quite know what that is. Let's have a look. Doing some Romance Angel Oracle cards. Yeah, okay. For some of you, this is someone you're in separation from. Wow. This person is more complicated. Let me just have a look. They may cover that up with humour, okay? And, you know, bravado or whatever it is. How interesting. Okay, so we start with separation. Some of you are in separation from this person. Either you were anyway or because of lockdown or a weird combination of the two. Then we get reconciliation. <laughs> okay, someone from the past returns to your life. So there's separation, there's reconciliation. And then what is there in between? Free yourself. Something about this connection for both of you bust you out of your old toxic patterns okay particularly this person who's got quite a lot of complications going on in the background healing family issues and there they are and it's going to bring stuff up for you too your love life benefits as you forgive your parents along with playfulness there is a playfulness about your connection with this person but there's also a playfulness about them. And when that playfulness and the jokey side comes out, know that they're trying to tell you something, okay? In the extended reading, I am going to look at their side of the story. What's going on for them? What are the complications? 
and um, possible outcomes of what they're going to reveal. Okay, we're going to have a look at that. Oof. Okay. Wisdom of the Oracle, we get chaos and conflict. Now, when you get this chaos and conflict card, you can't make the omelette without breaking the eggs. And they very much want to. They want a joke. They want it to be easy. They want, you know, things to just be okay. If you're single, they want to just maybe get you to do all the work. Don't. They need to sweat this a little bit because if you allow that to happen, it'll be twice as good when it does. And you get romance as your angel oracle card. No one else got that. Okay, Libra, I am going to go and do the extended. The link's in the description box. Follow me on Instagram, Gemstone Tarot. And I like your reading, actually. It's pretty nice. Uh, so I can't even speak. I want to say, like, well done, congratulations. But I just, I'm happy for you. Okay, let's leave it at that. Namaste.